Hello and welcome to another episode of the Federal Church Presents Better Than Bloomberg. Continuing our coverage of the global financial system collapse 2023, the worst ever. Another good note from Zero Hedge on the U.S. banking failure. U.S. bank deposit outflows continue. Small bank loans collapse. You can't loan what you don't have because they're insolvent. As we detailed extensively last week, the big headline from the Fed's H-8 report was the significant divergence between seasonally and non-seasonally adjusted commercial bank deposit data, inflows for the former and big outflows for the latter. Yesterday's continued surge of inflows in money market funds, and again, they haven't figured out yet how money market funds work or who operates them, and increased usage of the Fed's bank bailout facilities set the scene for the ugly data from last week's NSA deposits to accelerate. According to the latest H-8 report from the Fed on a seasonally adjusted basis, excuse me there, they're still telling people to medicate my food because they're dirty liars. Total U.S. commercial bank deposits fell by $13.8 billion during the weekend at 5-3, the second straight week. However, on a seasonally adjusted basis, U.S. commercial bank deposits, ex-large time deposits, Decreased by $25.4 billion last week during the week ending 5-3 after rising $10.92 billion the week before. That is the lowest since March 2021. Because they're insolvent. On a non-seasonally adjusted basis, U.S. commercial bank deposits, <laughs> large time deposits, jumped $63.8 billion. Money printing from their little craft facilities. Oh, I know. Moving from the little small. And judging by yesterday's money market inflows and deposit outflows continued this week, remember deposit data is lagged a week to money market and Fed balance sheet data. Let me make sure. That... Yeah. There's a little banks are failing. On a seasonally adjusted basis, large and small banks both saw outflows last week, foreign bank inflows. Large banks saw the biggest outflow, $17.2 billion, because again, they're the ones with the derivatives books. And, yeah, they get, to, uh, they get to learn what kind of party risk is. Small, uh, negative 17.2 billion. Small banks, negative 8.2 billion. Foreign banks, 4.9 billion. Yeah, I would keep it in the bank in America. However, before we move on, it is key to note that there was literally a literally massive revision to all of these time series this week with around 100 billion deposits removed from small banks and adjusted up to large banks. And again, those are, those are also the shenanigans that they do. <coughs> On the other side, a ledger commercial bank lending tumbled $15.7 billion in the week ended May 3rd after increasing $41.9 billion the prior week, probably because they were loaning it to themselves, kind of like SVB. According to seasonally adjusted data, small bank loans fell $13.6 billion. Finally, in case you still believe the worst is over, Regional banks had another ugly week, pushing their relative strength to its weakest on record relative to the uh, relative to the S and P 500. The good news is the small banks moved very modestly further away from the critical reserve constraint line last week. This data does not include, given the lag, again that's uh, nothing. The time period where PacWest described losing 10% of its deposits and the size of the revisions make the data questionable at best. Even the Fed whisperer knows things aren't good. You exclude large time deposits, certificates of deposit over $100,000. Deposits have resumed their pre-SVB downward sloping trend. Finally, while the uh, SA and NSA data and all the revisions makes this a mess, what sticks out to us is the last three weeks there are $210.5 billion in NSA bank flows, while let's say the number is an outflow of only 18.1 billion. So the Fed is claiming there is still about 192 billion in tax payment related deposits expected to return to banks. And if the Fed is right, which we strongly doubt, U.S. commercial bank residual equity has never been higher. We shall see. And again, you, uh, you forget that this is the brokest country in the history of the world, or especially if those are retail depositors. Even if it is true, I bet you that money be gone pretty fucking soon. Most of them don't have 500 bucks in their damn name. And don't forget why. 
because you didn't pay your tithe and that Jesus is angry with you. Don't forget to make your donations.